go to the cellar, be in a cool place on a hot day. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's of the millionaire's daughter on Otto Street in Hamilton. They have more than one location, but this is the one I'm giving a tour of this time. This is the view on the outside. They do have a few items on the outside, like a couple of chairs. And you'll see some other items that were on the other side. These look like uh, tall planters, or, or you could use them some other way, I suppose. But that's probably intended as planters. And here we are going inside. They have um, a different pricing system than compared to many other places. It's not exclusive to them. I have learned of other places that do something similar. They have a price that as it comes in and a month later as a, a, a predetermined lower price. And it, they tell you what the date is. And there's two additional uh, reduced prices that are shown on the tag. So a total of three reduced prices in addition to the, the original price it started at when they came into the store. This one, uh, you'll see the tag for it. I believe that's what this is. Maybe not. I may have put the two of them together in inadvertently. But I was pretty sure they were together. Here we are, just inside the door where they've got some, some room vignettes set up. Makes for an interesting uh, a view. And now we're back into the area which is their last chance area and the area from which they receive and, and ship out the items from the store. And this is the other half of the store because it's actually two storefronts they're using. And you've got some more vignettes leading up to the cash area. The vignettes have not just furniture, but the decor, some dishes, and so on. Here's the last chance. And on the next image, you'll see the, the uh, individual glasses and they've highlighted the last date on there. So they're about to leave the store to go back to the original vendor. This is the lower level. They've got quite a collection of furniture and, and dishes and decor items down here as well. Uh, nicely lit. Not, not claustrophobic, in, it, in my opinion, anyway. Even down here, they had a special room that were uh, glanc glancing through, or we were in it, I can't remember at this point. Um, here we are, some dining tables, some lovely soft chairs. Some other sections now like I said they're nicely set up in vignettes so you have a, a sense of how it would work in a in a in a room some more of the downstairs it's not quite as big as the upstairs, but pretty close. We are still downstairs. There's a lot of smaller vignettes to look at, so 
There's plenty to see. It's worth the trip down if you can make it. And there's the stairs. Sometimes we take the same vignette and see it from a different angle and it looks different. So you're seeing some of these variations here. This was still downstairs. Oh, this was the added little room that they have. It's kind of like a, a your last chance. Now this one is a lovely piece of metal art. The price is not a bad if you wait for the last date. If it's still there, you get an even better price. And here you'll see a piece of oriental art. I don't know if it's original or print. That's, I wasn't going to worry about that. So that's the sign for the metal art. So I must have switched the two. We've got the antique infant scale. As you can see, the predetermined pricing for it. Here we are upstairs. And we're at the last little bit here. This was upstairs. It was a silver chair. And if I remember right, it was getting close to as it had actually achieved its final price on there. If you were into a silver chair, that was a deal. I used part of this image for the splash. It has a price the same way all the others do. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and you can give us a thumbs up if you could. A subscribe would be great and a tinkle on the bell would be fantastic. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.